It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It's Real Madrid against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that you win your home games and don't lose your away games. You've got a good chance of progressing. Here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. times previously the Santiago Bernabeu has hosted European Cup or Champions League finals most recently Lee in 2010 when Jose Mourinho's Inter defeated Bayern 2-0 yeah absolutely and the special thing about this place not so much in the ground which is great enough but when you walk round outside the atmosphere leading up to a game here is second to none this is the starting lineup for Atletico Jan Oblak starts in goal. Diego Godin plays alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in central defence. And the strike partnership, Antoine Griezmann plays alongside Diego Costa. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Space in abundance for Atleti. Now it's with Saul, Lamar, Rodri. It's with Saul and scope for the cross. A low driven ball. And here now is Diego Costa and given away. The effectiveness of the high press. It is to be a throw in. Isco is a player who usually brings those special qualities to a match. Lee, what do you enjoy about his football? Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he will score. Don't give this lad half a yard. He's such a great finisher. Really, in this great competition, there's been continuity since season 2003-2004. The same format. Remember, there used to be a second. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? intervention was by Luka Modric a good one good numerical situation now Godin Felipe Luis Griezmann and tremendous defensive intuition from Sergio Ramos Karim Benzema 
Tony Kroos. Koke now gets involved in the attacking side of things. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Juan Fran, an abundance of space. Is he going to punish them here? And it's Koke. Well, he analyzes it, you know. I think he'll feel he shouldn't have taken on the shot from there. Well, he definitely shouldn't have done. The angle's all wrong. He's got to look for other options. Lamar. He's going forward well here. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort. Used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. Thomas Lemar, Saul. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Well, he's hit it with far too much height. Well, he's quite a long way out, and if you put power on the ball and just lean back slightly, it's going to rise, and that time, over the bar. Karim Benzema Bale Now what can he do here? And crossed in there by Gareth Bale We have the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back Oh dear, I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it was well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. Diego Costa so close to keeping himself onside but offside is the verdict well and that's his job the linesman give those tight offside decisions and get them right we've been waiting to find out now we know a minimum of three added minutes here And that is offside. Well, you can see he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close, though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance. Just got the technique a little bit off.
first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. And it's Koke. Well, he analyzes it, you know. I think he'll feel he shouldn't have taken on the shot from there. Well, he definitely shouldn't have done. The angle's all wrong. He's got to look. He's going forward well here. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort. Used his laces. But... Saul. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Well, he's hit it with far too much height. Well, he's quite a long way out, and if you put power on the ball and just lean back slightly, it's going to rise, and that time... Oh. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Oh, dear. I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it was well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. Well, you can see he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close, though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance. Just got the technique a little bit off. 